let's imagine the government wanted to help hungry people, all right? And so the government said, we've got to do this, it's critical, the private sector, the free market's not capable of feeding people, and so what we're going to do is open up 10,000 government grocery stores, and you're going to be assigned a government grocery store based off of your address. And when you show up to the grocery store, you're not actually going to shop for groceries. A government employee is going to give you a bag of groceries based off of the government-approved caloric index for your family. And if there's something in that grocery bag that you don't particularly like, not a big deal, just call up your legislator. We'll go through about a two to four year process while the Kraft macaroni and cheese and the Oreo lobbyists come to determine whether or not that particular brand of product should be in your grocery bag. Oh, by the way, the government employees working in the grocery store, none of them will be rewarded based off of innovation. None of them will be rewarded based off of how good a job they do or efficiencies they find. They'll just be rewarded on seniority. So the longer they're there, the more they get paid, period, the end. Does anybody think this would be a good way to feed people? No. It's basically Venezuela, right? No, this is not a good way to feed people. It is exactly what we did with public.